guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you saw last year, I made a 2023 vision board and because 2024 is here now because it's January 1st, I believe, I thought I would keep the tradition going and make a 2024 vision board or like New Year's resolution type thing. So that is what I'm doing. I printed all my pictures that I want. I have so many pictures. And I'm just going to do like a video of me making my vision board and then at the end I will describe what each picture means. So, enjoy! Alright, so I have all of my pictures cut out. As you saw, I have so many different like crazy scissors. So they all have like a different shape kind of like at the borders. So I have my poster board. It's smaller than last year which is good because last year's was huge, but I think I have more pictures this year. So one side is shiny and one side's not. Which side do I use? We're gonna use the not shiny side. So I'm using a stencil today, but it's still not gonna be good. So we're just gonna send it. Oh my gosh, it's already bad. It's okay. Definitely not even. <laughs> That's okay. Yikes. You could definitely tell I chose sports over anything artistic or music or anything like that because this looks bad. But now I'm just going to color it in. Look how bad this looks. So bad. But comment down below if you have like a New Year's resolution that you want to try and accomplish in 2024 or if you make your own vision board or something like this or even just jot down your goals comment that down below because i'm interested to see who else does this i just started doing vision boards last year so hopefully i can keep it a tradition and keep doing them every year because there's so much fun to just reflect on Alright, so I went and got some tape because that's much needed. So the problem is, one, I think my pictures are too small, and two, I have no idea how to place them. So I might have to also write in words or something, I don't know. But some of these you can't really see, so... We're just gonna do whatever I can to make it try and look good. Because I also want to try and like write around it or write underneath the picture as to like kind of my goal regarding that picture. I thought it'd be cool, but I also don't know how I'm gonna do that because my handwriting sucks. So if anyone knows how to fix my handwriting, let me know, please. Because according to my neighbor, I have pretty bad handwriting. So but it'd be like that. I actually think I might have like the perfect amount of pictures. I still have a ton of ones to put on. <laughs> and I'm running out of room. Oh goodness. I'm literally just spreading them out all over. <laughs> I have two more I need to fit out in here and it's not looking good. So I think I have it. I have them all on there. It looks crazy. So I don't know how I'm supposed to write under them or even around them. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna start taping it and we'll see. I mean, I can always redo it, but I prefer not to, so let's go.
All right, so this is what it looks like so far. It's all taped on. And now I'm going to try writing underneath them. Although I was gonna use marker, but we don't have like a thin Sharpie. So I'm gonna use pens, but what color do I use? I have dark blue, I have red, I have black, I have light blue, I have green. And I have like purple and orange somewhere, but I don't know where. So these are the colors we're working with. I think I might just do dark blue because I feel like black will just blend in. So let's try for dark blue. And I'm just gonna kind of write a small like blurb of like what the picture is referring to. So yeah, hopefully it looks good because I've made it this far. <laughs> I finally finished it and as you can see I don't know if you can see all the pictures but I have all the pictures so we'll start by this one so this one I want to read at least 25 books so from August to I believe December roughly in 2023 I read 11 books so I want to keep reading also I, I use the app Goodreads I believe to track like what books I've read and what books I want to read so if you are a reader I would recommend getting that app my neighbor recommended it to me and it's fabulous and this is not spots or anything but you can connect with like friends and see what they're reading so I think it's cool and it also like gives me an idea of what I want to read next so that's the first thing I'll skip that one this one is a picture of me and Rainy and it says under it hang out more with Rainy and then this one down here is Italy, and it says Italy trip May 2024. So as I've mentioned previously, me and some friends from college, some of these friends here, and some professors are going to Italy for about 10 days roughly. And yeah, I've never been, and I thought, well, if I pass up this opportunity, when will I get to go again? So I'm going to Italy. My flight is already booked. Hotel is in the process. So that's exciting. So I have my pizza up here because in Italy, you know, they're famous for like pasta and pizza and all that. So I want to make homemade pizza there or like try pizza. So that's why I have that. And then also to go with Italy, I have pasta. So as I said, I want to make my like homemade pasta because they have like classes where you can do that. And I thought that'd be super cool. But if I can't do that, I just want to try like pasta because you're in Italy. So why not? <laughs> And then the picture down here is a group of me and my friends. All of these people who are in the picture were in the business club that I was a part of. So some of them are going to Italy with me. Others are not, unfortunately, but I still want to hang out with them this year. And then this next one, it says eat healthy. It's pretty self-explanatory. I just want to eat better. Um, I feel like I do eat good, like I try and stay away from junk food the best I can. But yeah, I just want to eat better and feel better and have more energy throughout the day. And then it also says no Chinese. So I'm going to try not to eat Chinese for a whole year because I've ate it so much in the past four months. It's crazy. And then over here, I have a picture of a house. So I want to try and like rent an apartment or rent a house, but obviously if it doesn't work out and the timing's not right, I'm not going to push it. I'm more than welcome to stay in my parents' house for as long as I need to. And I really appreciate them just allowing me to do that. So yeah, that is my goal. I don't know if it'll happen because, you know, prices of things are going up. But And then I also have Duolingo on here, which is a language learning app. So I want to do one lesson a day. So if you do like... A lesson a day you earn like a streak it's called kind of like snapchat if you are familiar with snapchat so you earn a streak every day you do a lesson and you know in 2023 because i knew i was going to italy i was learning italian and i had like over a 75 day streak and then i got lazy and tired and i didn't do my lesson like every day and i lost my 85 streak so or like higher it was very high so yeah, I'm starting to do that again, a lesson every day, that is my goal. And then this picture is a picture of my trophy that I had at my annual gingerbread house competition 
back in like December. So I want to try and have that competition again and host it because it was super fun. And then this one says stay active. So I want to try and like do an exercise at least once a week, whether it's like walking or doing like a 10 minute ab workout or a 10 minute arm workout or just being active instead of just like sitting down and watching YouTube for hours. And then this next one is a dollar sign. And I just want to like budget better and save more money. I have a hard time with saving money. I mean, I save money, but I also spend a lot of money. So I need to work on that. And I actually calculated like how much my income is for the year and how much like roughly I pay for bills for the year. And I include gas as well. So like I kind of know how much I want to save to have like a certain amount at the end of the year. So I need to work towards that and not spend any money. And then up here, I have a picture of me and Lacey and it just says hang out with Lacey more. So because Lacey still works at Subway and I long no longer don't, it's hard for us to like hang out anymore because our schedules just don't align. She works crazy hours, I have a full-time job, so it's kind of hard to like get together and she also has two kids. So I just want to hang out with her more. So yeah. So Lacey, if you're watching this, hang out with me. And then the next one is a picture of me and Jackie and it just says hang out with Jackie more. I love hanging out with my friends. It's so much fun whether I've known them since high school or I've known them since a, my previous career or just college, college. I feel like it's so much fun just hanging out with friends. It also makes me happier. And then up here, I have a calendar. And you might be wondering why you have a calendar, it's so weird. So. Rainy and I actually bought these whiteboard calendars that you put on the wall like sometime last year and I was just going to get a small one but I was like no I might have a ton of stuff to write on it but the problem is I don't ever update it or ever use it. I think it still says like November on it because I just don't update it so I need to use that and write down like my plans because I feel like I put too much stuff into one day. So I need to work on that. I also need to work on like keeping my room organized. That's a problem, but I did not write that on here. So I'm working on that too. And then this next one is the YouTube logo. And I just wanna keep posting on YouTube and maybe be more consistent or try to be. I posted once a week and it was like on Sundays at roughly 7 a.m. the video would be posted. But then I ran out of video ideas and then I stopped posting for a little bit and then I started posting every day of December and I think it just got to the point where I was just posting so much that it physically drained me. So I want to try and like work on that, be consistent, but who knows because I am busy and I do have a life, but I will try and be more consistent for you guys. And then up here is a picture of me and my family and my also my grandma. Um, at graduation. I just want to hang out with my family more because like I said for reflecting in 2023 I had a picture of family as well. I think family is so important and it just makes you a better person. So I just want to keep hanging out with my family, spending as much time as I can with them because you know eventually I will move out and I will not be here in this house with them 24 seven. So I need to hang out with them more as well as my brother, grandparents, cousins, whoever it may be. I need to hang out with them more. Just like friends, I need to hang out with friends more. I think I skipped this one. Um, it's a picture of like several people holding a heart and that one just represents like community. So I really want to help out my community a lot more this year. I have a few ideas in mind that I'm not like ready to share yet, but once I, I have all the details and information i will share it with you guys but yeah that is my 2024 vision board last year i feel like it was like asking a lot to like go to the gym frequently and just stuff like that so this year i actually put stuff that i can actually accomplish and feel good about while also like trying to work on me so i hope you learned a little bit about me and what i need to work on I hope this motivated you to make a vision board or make a new year's resolution or even just write down goals that you want to achieve in 2024. It could be just make your bed every day or even just save money 
or go on this big vacation, whatever it may be, just write it down and it makes you more accountable to actually achieve those goals. So that is what I'm learning over the past year, year and a half to just write down things and you will achieve them better and like quicker. So yeah, that is my 2024 vision board. It is not the greatest, but you know, it represents my artistic ability, so. For the people who think I'm very artistic, I'm not. Look at my my numbers. I'm not very artistic at all. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn your post notifications to be notified every time I post a video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.